Does adding RAM to a budget PC make Blender render faster? In this video, we'll test it. In my case, I'm upgrading from 8GB to 32GB Corsair Vengeance. I have two 16GB DIMMs that will go inside my HP Pavilion gaming PC. As you might know, having 8GB on a modern system is the bare minimum. Well, how do you choose to write memory? Check the motherboard you have and check what memory capacity it can support. My motherboard is HP Revision 11 and from the HP product page I can see that the motherboard has two DIMM sockets that can support two 16GB modules for total 32GB with maximum rating for 2933 MHz clock speed. The Corsair modules are rated for 3200 MHz but that's not a problem because memory modules are backwards compatible with slower memory buses. This upgrade should make a big improvement in performance due to the quadruple memory capacity and lower cast latin latency. In my case, the cast latency is lousy 22, so changing to cast latency 16 should make the memory also faster even if the bus speed remains the same. For rendering in Blender, I am expecting to see at least 5% performance boost in Windows 10. Let's find out if I'm even close. Like in the previous video, I will also compare the performance in Ubuntu, if using another operating system makes a difference. Let's start by opening the case and pulling out the 8GB DIMM. I open the locks from both sides and pull directly out. Here it is. Now it's time to add the new RAM modules. Open up the locks for the other socket too. It's going to get crowded. I'll press the first module in firmly until I hear two clicks. And in goes the second one. This case is closed, so let's boot. In Windows Task Manager's Performance tab, I noticed that the RAM is running on a 2133 MHz. <sighs> what the actual fun? Opening up CPU-Z shows that it is 32GB, alright, and has cast latency of 15. I don't know why, because it's rated 16. Perhaps this is an issue with the BIOS and the drivers for the motherboard. So I'll open the HP Support Assistant and select all the updates starting with the BIOS update. Updating BIOS is quite simple and safe as long as you keep the power on while updating. After a restart and a longer than usual BIOS update, I'm going back to Windows to see the results. Because the memory speed seems fixed and BIOS update didn't change anything, let's forget it and move on. I'll trust that the higher capacity and lower cast latency will give me better performance in Blender despite the lower speed. On a crowd render channel's video, they showed that RAM speed has only a small effect on rendering times. Starting with Windows 10 with the same settings as the previous render, I'll start the test by pressing Ctrl F12. On the last run on Windows 10, the render for 96 frames took 2 hours and 42 minutes. Yeah, no, it's long on purpose. If my prediction of 5% improvement for rendering times in Blender is correct, then we should see it finished in 2 hours and 34 minutes or 154 minutes. Rendering is now complete and let's see how long it took. With 32 GB RAM, the render was completed in 2 hours and 32 minutes. I'm happy with this result because it's actually 6% improvement in rendering speed. Sure, 6% is not revolutionary, but in this case it means 10 minutes saved. If it was an 8 hour render, that would mean 30 minutes. Let's jump over to Ubuntu and see if Linux handles the render faster with bigger RAM. But to my surprise, when I start rendering, something is wrong. It's much slower than before. Then I realized that render devices are disabled. Checking from the additional drivers window, I see that the driver is supposedly working, but it isn't. The BIOS update must have messed up the secure boot. To fix this situation, I reinstall driver version 5.10 by using the terminal, reassign the secure boot password, restart, enroll the MOK like we did in the previous video, and reboot to open Ubuntu. Now everything seems to work, but I want to use the latest drivers. I open up the terminal again, reinstall the 5.20 version, reboot once more, and now we're ready to rock. I really want Linux to be faster this time, because in my previous video, Windows was 3% faster, to my big surprise.
First frames look promising. It seems like Ubuntu is going to win this round. Cling cling. Let's wait until the end to see what happens. Now the render is complete and the time it took was 2 hours and 30 minutes. Yes, baby. Not only was Ubuntu an impressive 9% faster than the reference render with 8 gigabytes, it also beat Windows 10 Home version by 2 minutes. I knew that Ubuntu is going to be faster, so it was worth it to install another OS to my HP Pavilion gaming PC. And in the future, I will do all my Blender work in Ubuntu. I know, I know, there are faster distros of Linux, like Mint and... Lubuntu. I might try them in the future, but for the moment I'm happy with this. But 6% is not enough. We still have one fight to go. The final match, GTX 1650 Super against RTX 2060. Watch it now!